Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 14 series laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 203421 laptop and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to can replace the keyboard. If you have one key is not working or you spill some water on it, you can't fix it, you have to replace the whole keyboard and I'm going to show you guys how to easily to remove it and replace it at home. And I'll try to get the links for the new keyboard. So you can have it. You can put a different style. This is an Spanish style. You can put an English or whatever language you want. All right. To get to do this, first thing first, you need a screwdriver set. I'll leave the link for a good screwdriver set that I use. And the ones that I really like are the iFixit screwdriver set. They have one of the best bits out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And we're going to be using an opening tool and we're going to be using a guitar pick. These guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and cases. So on the bottom cover, uh, we're going to remove the battery by pulling the triggers away and pull up the battery from the back end up and put it to one side. Here we're going to release this screw right there. I believe the keyboard is held down by three or maybe one only, but for the heck of the video, I'm going to remove these three screws. It's like a triangle right here. So go ahead and remove these screws. I believe the three of them are connected to the keyboard. All right, once you remove these screws, yeah, it was three of them. Now we're gonna open up the laptop and in here with the opening tool, we're gonna see tiny triggers on the top here. We're gonna release this, push them away towards the screen a little bit. And then we're gonna try to lift up. I'm pushing them away and lifting up the keyboard slowly push it and lift it up pretty much i'm scooping in there we go once you did that just bring it up and put it down face down and in here there's a flex cable that goes towards the motherboard to remove this flex cable all you have to do put your fingernail at the back cover by the black one here and lift it up 90 degrees this is the lock and then you want to slide back the flex cable right here bring it back so there's your keyboard and the model number for this one the part number for the dell it's right here is a cn-0f0xrv or the keyboard part number is an mp-12f76la la stands for latin america so that means it's spanish keyboard yours might be us for us here it says it's version in Spanish, Latin America. So you can grab your keyboard that you want. In here you can install a keyboard with a backlight, only with a keyboard with a normal keyboard. Once you get a new keyboard in here, imagine, you want to fold it. And you do want to bring it up this way so it's easier. You see this flex cable has a little lip on the side. So you can't slide it straight in. You have to bring it down in 45 degrees towards the jack all the way in make sure those lips go inside I'm gonna use a tweezer to push it in so I'm gonna put my fingers in there so you guys can see I'm gonna put it straight in there and push it nicely in there those lips has to be right in there and then you want to lock it down in there Next, you want to put the bottom end of the keyboard, this one's under the palm rest. So bring it, put it right underneath, make sure it goes in there. And then you want to hold it like a curvature. So I'm going to put my finger, hold on, let me grab this. In the middle right here with a little elevation, I'm going to put this side down and that side. And then I'm going to quickly click on the top, make sure you do those tiny clicks. And that's how you put the keyboard in. And the last thing is, don't forget to flip it back to the other side and put the three screws that you remove on the bottom cover. These are very important to put it back in there. And once you did this, and you should have your new keyboard working just fine. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own keyboard replacement. If you did, please click the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any question or comment or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.